Good morning, everyone. Emily and I just finished breakfast and we are headed to GYC. This is our first full day of GYC. Emily never has never been. I've been to like two in the past. And they're pretty awesome. Tons of young adults coming together and worshiping God. It's a really exciting thing. Our hotel has a connector to the convention center right there. That's my friend Kyle. I always tease him about his big nose. He claims to be Filipino because he was a pastor uh, of a church that had a lot of Filipinos in it. So if you've never been to GYC, um, basically in short, it's a movement of young adults. Uh, GYC stands for Generation of Youth for Christ. It's something that's been around for, I guess, about a dozen years or so. And basically every year in December, like several thousand young adults come uh, to different regions throughout the country and uh, have seminars and worship times uh, where they get to learn about how to serve God better. There are a ton of empty seats behind me, but on Sabbath, this entire stadium will be full. I think last year I see had something like 5,000 young adults or something like that. For me, primarily, it's been really a source of inspiration to see so many other young adults that are excited about evangelism and wanting to serve God. Just finished our first meeting. It was a pretty cool testimony of this woman who was a missionary in Thailand and she was serving as like a teacher and EMS or something like that for a while. And God called her to actually adopt like three kids over a series of years uh, and to become a mother. So that's definitely a story you don't hear very often, but it was a reminder that parents have like the greatest mission field of all. You sure you don't want to be in the vlog? Not even for Raphael. Like you don't, you don't want you don't want him to no, no not at all no. all right <laughs> looks like they're turning off all the lights cool they're kicking us out of the exhibitor hall which is really great last year I was here basically eight hours a day looks like they're locking it up so I can't see I actually get to go enjoy some of the seminars Look what I ran into. Hi. Hey this guys. is Michelle, who was one of my teachers at Souls. Hi. Say hi to like I know that for sure, like Sarah and hi, Sasha Sarah. and What's some of the other people. Say hi. Hey so, guys. Actually, Sasha's here at, at uh, GYC. You say hi to me. So she's currently in Tennessee. Tennessee, Georgia. And you are now running the Wildwood College of Health Evangelism. Wildwood College of Health Evangelism. Crazy, right? Having fun? Yes. Wow. Really cool running into Michelle again and had a great conversation talking about like God leading in our lives and how we determine that stuff, which is really fun. Uh, truth be told, when Michelle was one of my teachers, I always felt she was kind of like one of the goofier or whatever. And just talking to her over this last conversation, really amazing to see how God continues to grow us and develop us. She's an awesome person. And Michelle, thank you so much for the conversation and the advice. Really appreciate it. There's Cynthia. That's I haven't seen Cynthia. Like. For the problem when we don't see this love and acceptance. So granted it's only the first day of GYC and I've only been to like two of the ses sessions so far, but I've been really excited about this GYC because they've been focusing on a lot more practical things. Uh, in the past GYC, in my opinion, has been a lot of 
theoretical and theological things, which of course is good because that's really what it's about. And they talk about a lot of really important things. But like every seminar has been about these things that have very little to do with real life. Uh, in my opinion, at least. Uh, but I just finished a seminar that was actually on personal finances and stuff like that, which is a really practical thing uh, to be talking about, especially for young adults. And the guy was actually talking about like how to make it through college without like having a million dollars in debt or how to buy a house and things like that. And how that can really play a huge role in our, um, in our walk with God and how we can make a difference for the kingdom. Uh, for example, one statistic that he shared was that, you know, if you could somehow, after you pay off your debts or whatever the case is, or after you graduate from school, live off of 40% of your income and invest the other 60 with a very modest, rotate, uh, modest return on investment, after 10 years, your passive income is enough basically to retire. And he was sharing that, not for the goal of retiring necessarily, but like say in theory, God called you overseas to another mission or to do something else that wasn't really a huge paying job. You could in theory do that within 10 years. You could be out there not having to work a regular nine to five job and you'd be free to do whatever it is that God called you to do. So I thought it was really practical, really cool. So I'm excited to see what else this GYC has in store for us today. Oh, that session, by the way, if you're curious, was done by Alistair Huang, and I believe all the audio should be dubbed up on the GYC website, which is GYCweb.org. I don't know how soon, but at some point, it will be up there if you're interested. There's Kyle again. We just finished one of the main meetings. We're back at the booth doing some recruiting. There's Michael. Michael, how'd you enjoy GYC so far? This is your first GYC, huh? Mm -hmm. What would you say? Thumbs up, thumbs down? It is well. Thumbs up. Nice. You watched my vlogs? Yeah, I, you guys just went to the Philippines. And it was a great time. <laughs> Say hi to Becca. Hi Becca, I miss you so much. Becca, 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 Becca. <laughs> Check it out. Everybody's guy. What is this? What, what is this here? What is this guy right here? What is this? I don't know this guy. This guy's, this guy's a good, he's good looking. <laughs> yeah. And we found someone that she knew and I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> All done with the booth time. We are walking back to the hotel. We're gonna get changed. And then Mario and I are gonna meet up with Derek. Archie. Oh, and Derek's gonna come too? Yeah, he's come a little bit. Oh, Derek's gonna come too. He says and we're gonna do a little bit of game night uh, before midnight. Today is New Year's Eve. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of festivities for the New Year. So, I have not been able to play board games with Archie in a few years. He is Arguably one of my favorite people to play games with because he's really wise about how he does it and uh, it's really fun, he's funny, he likes to play games and stuff like that. But the goal is to be able to finish a game of Settlers of Catan in under two hours from start to finish. Apparently to the wifey, kissing at New Year's is a very important thing. So the clock is running. Uh, no, so Archie, yeah. Yeah. And then if you I promise you won't cry you know, when I beat you. I promise I won't cry tears of joy when I beat you. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so Archie's got a tough guy. He's got a wife. He's got to do the whole thing. Like, I he beat me. He beat me. I beat me. <laughs> Just finished the game. I did end up winning legitimately, which is fun. Uh, going home to the room, and then and celebrating the New Year's. So hopefully we'll stay up long enough to watch the ball drop. <laughs> what kind of face? <laughs> Got about 10 minutes till New Year's. Mm -hmm. Did you used to stay up for New Year's a lot growing up? Oh, all the time. All We'd the time? Have, oh, yeah. What was your tradition for it? We'd always have people over and like food and we'd usually like watch a movie and play games till midnight and then we'd watch the ball drop and drink. Wow. Um, 
Drink Martinelli's. Martinelli's, yeah. I think I've only stayed up to like the New Year's maybe like a handful of times. I never really cared too much about it. Really? Yeah. Mm. I did see on net on uh, the internet today that Netflix has like this fake countdown thing that runs at like nine o'clock where you can do a countdown for your kids. That have like children's themes countdown, so you can send your bed your kids to bed at nine o'clock and they think they sit up till midnight. <laughs> oh, that was pretty ge genius. <laughs> That is just crazy how many people are there. See, that'd be that would suck. so scary. I hate to be there. Especially if there's like a terrorist attack. <laughs> so we don't have Martinelli's this year. So we have to improvise and we got ginger ale. Ten! Nine! We gotta count with the... <laughs> seven! Six! Nine! Four! Two! One! Happy New Year! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Happy New Year's, guys! Happy New Year! See you next year!